Welcome to a new video on how to install and configure my new plugin Prometheus user submitted content. This plugin will allow your users to submit their posts or images or any other stuff that can be published on your blog via their user interface. Very simply. It is fully configurable by you. So let's begin. To install this plugin, you must click Plugins, Add New, Upload Plugin, choose File, navigate to the zip file you downloaded, click Install Now. Wait a bit. Activate the plugin. When all is done, a menu entry appeared, Prometheus user submitted content. Uh, let's show you a quick example on how it works. Uh, to add the form, you must add this short code, Prometheus add form anywhere on your blog, uh, in posts, in pages, in the uh, template of your blog, in widgets, everywhere it works. So let's add it to this testing post here. Update. Let's go to our blog. Uh, let's see. Testing post. Here it is. So This is the form. You can customize the looks of the form from the config panel, but I'll show you only this. Uh, let's customize the form real fast. Username show require, email your post title show and require. Yes. Okay. Save post, save settings, your name, tester, test post. Let's also automatically publish the article. I forgot that. Okay. Test star test post two choose attachment a real quick picture post content hello this is a user submitted submit and everything worked fine this is a customizable message and here it is our submitted post this is the image I submitted hello this is a user submitted post Okay, now let's go to the settings and take a look real quick what it can do. This is the main switch. You can enable or disable the plugin from here. <coughs> Allow only registered users to submit posts. If you check this, only registered users will be allowed to submit their posts. And also if you check this, other two settings that will appear only registered users allowed message this message will be shown to users that are not registered here you can enter please register to submit posts or something like this user categories to are, that are allowed to submit posts here you can set who will be allowed what user categories will be allowed to submit posts notice that it is uh, 
ordered by permission if you uncheck this username for anonymous user post will appear here you can select which username to assign the anonymous posts to next thing next is allow users to submit more than one file at once if you check this uh, um, the here in the post attachment more typical files can be selected and right now it is not possible but if you check this it will be maximum number of files a user can submit here you can enter a digital value a num numeric value to restrict files uh, submission minimum number of files a user can submit maximum file size for submitted files here you can enter value in bytes so if you want one megabyte you must enter uh, this one million one million forty eight thousand bytes is a megabyte minimum file size for submitted files same rule allowed file extensions for submission here you should enter the extensions that you want to allow for submissions if you want to allow only images you can enter this jpeg bmp gif <coughs> maximum image width in pixels maximum minimum width maximum height minimum height for the images you can add restrictions maximum number of URLs in the post <coughs> if the user exceeds the maximum number uh, its content will be denied allow HTML in post content you can also restrict this <coughs> ban usernames from submitting posts here you can add usernames uh, that will be banned from submitting posts <coughs> separated by comma allow you only the li this list of users to submit posts here if you enter this list only these two users will be allowed to submit posts this is the reverse for ban categories here you can select which categories will appear to users that are selecting their post category <coughs> minimum number of characters for post title title this is a restriction for post title minimum characters maximum characters minimum characters for post content maximum for post content minimum for other fields other fields include author name email address author url post tags post excerpt and post password maximum field number of characters for these fields require unique post titles or post content if you check these two only unique post titles will be accepted on your blog notice that zero disables this limitation okay let's move on general plugin settings post status after after submission here you can moderate your post with pending draft or publish a directory with or private and uh, or move it to trash automatically insert any file type in posts here if you check this uh, any file type will be inserted automatically in post content that user submitted if you uncheck this only images will be submitted or will be inserted automatically add link to the added images pointing to a full image size if you check this uh, the image if the user clicks on the inserted image a full image pop-up will appear 
auto set featured image if you said check this auto set featured image for submitted post if you check this then uh, the featured image will be set automatically uh, by the submitted image automatically edit image width here you can set what width and height does the submitted image will have in your post content enable spam bot protection here you can protect yourself from spamming bots this will add an invisible field to your form which will be will must be left blank otherwise uh, we assume that it is a uh, bot enable admin panel notices for new posts if you enable this uh, here up in the admin panel will appear new notices for new posts enable email alert for new post submission here you can set the email address the subject email content also notice that you have following shortcodes for these two so here you can add percent percent post title percent percent or any of other these and the respective string will appear here or here hide form after a successful for submission you can hide your form after a successful or failed form submission to uh, stop users from submitting another time or unfailed attempts save text fields value after failed submit attempt if you leave this unchecked uh, if a user failed to submit his post he won't be able to see after the page refresh what he entered before this is if you uncheck this it makes your submission more secure but can annoy your users because they lost the content that they entered if they put a mistake something categories that are automatically included for the submitted, submitted posts here you can set the categories that you want to enforce for posts automatically add these tags to submitted posts here you can set your tags that you want to force for posts redirect users of the for after form submission here you can set links where you want to redirect users after success or failed attempts here you can set pages to thank them or to uh, say that they have mistaken something in form submission redirect users to the published post if the user submit a post and it was accepted it will redirect them to the published posts successful for pu publish a publishing message here you can say something like thank you for failed form submission message here you can put your fail form submission message accordingly notice that this will suppress other error messages that are built in the plugin with this generic error gather extra information from submitters here you can uh, set to gather users IP address user agent and referrer and you will see that information automatically include submitted files in post post beginning ending or no auto include enable course words filtering these settings will enable to filter a wide list of course words and to uh, hide them this uh, the next thing is uh, input field settings here you can uh, select username input field user email input field user url post title post text post category post content post captcha <coughs> post excerpt post com comment section input field ping selection post password selection post format selection 
post page type selection, post image upload input field, allow multiple categories selection, built-in CAPTCHA question to be shown, built-in CAPTCHA answer require, required, enable Google reCAPTCHA integration. <clears throat> Notice that you can uh, uh, include a simple built-in CAPTCHA where you uh, request an answer from the uh, user. Here you can enter anything. Also a secret question. Uh, this will be distributed only to some users that are paying or as you like it and only they will be able to submit posts okay oh the recapture is also configurable site key secret key team language the incorrect message spam message okay let's move on default post title here you can set the default values when you uh, hide these fields or the users doesn't doesn't uh, tell them display settings show wordpress rich text editor for post con for post content you can enable rich text editor or if you disable field this a simple text area will be shown to users who submit their content add media button to reach text editor drag and drop in rich text editor custom hashed html before the post after the post wrap input field with p field set field set yeah? submission from team here you can select the team you want to show to your users notice that i've submitted many uh, teams uh, here you can select also own css and customize the team CSS if you have knowledge of CSS or custom where you can customize every aspect of the visual uh, form type it's font bold italic underline fonts transparent form background field set background form font size Form font color, background color, background, field set background color, field set border color, field set border width, form border color, or form border width. And if we save these settings, we, the form here will be updated with uh, these values. Okay, these are random colors, so they are not very nice. Okay. Let's move on. Submitted post statistics. Here we can see some quick statistics about our submitted posts and uh, form default text. Here you can customize every aspect of uh, uh, the outputted uh, form. <coughs> so these are the strings that the form outputs. If you change these values, you can fully translate your form in any language you want. <coughs> so if you want German, you enter here the German string and hit save. And the form will be shown in German. So it is very handy. So this is the Prometheus user submitted content, hope you will enjoy it, have a nice day. Oh and also I forgot, the short code is this, for adding the form, this short code will list all posts that are submitted by users, all pages that are submitted by users and all posts and pages that are submitted by users. Hope it uh, helps you, have a nice day.